purging all of my things so I can get rid of it because you know I have so much shit that I don't fucking use anymore but yeah I'll go through with it with you Hey guys, so I'm gonna be giving this away. I'm gonna throw this one away. It's the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. This does nothing, nothing for me. It's sulfur, so that's the active ingredient. But I guess my skin doesn't really react to sulfur well. So, I mean, all these years that I've put it on, it does really nothing for me. So this is gonna go in the trash. I think I'm gonna throw this away too. This is gonna go in the trash because I've used this last year i've used this and um, it worked amazing for me just because it had salicylic acid in it but for now i think my skin is getting used to like the less ingredients type of stuff so this one has so much ingredients i don't know i guess like i'm not going to use this anymore and i have like such a tiny amount left if you can see just that that's much that's it and then when i started breaking out and i started using this it wasn't doing anything for me so that's going in the trash. Goodbye. I've used this for like how many years to, you know, to clear up my skin. But really, I had nothing in the beginning. Like all of these marks and stuff, I didn't have it. So this was really good at keeping me clear, especially in California weather. So yeah, this is going in the trash. I think this has to go. This was my sister's. It's the Jeju Volcanic Mask. And it looks like this a good mask um, I don't know how long she's had this mask but I used it when I came back in May and I don't know I guess like it does nothing for me really I think one mask that I'm gonna invest in is the um, Aztec mask Aztec clay mask because they did a video of like using it five days I think BuzzFeed did a video of using it five days consistently and the girl had so much breakouts on her chin area and it went away in the five days so yeah, I think I'm gonna buy that. And then I'm also gonna throw this one away. It's called Pignol's Clear Blackhead because I've never tried this. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my sister's room. Look, it looks so janky. What the fuck is this? Looks like this. It looks like she hasn't even used it. Like, look how much product is in there. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in my sister's room. You know this drink of H2O? This one? I don't know. I, I, don't, I feel like... I don't know how to feel about this. It smells so good because it has fragrance so this one the hydro boost the neutrogena hydro boost is just like this one they have the same like consistency but this one has um fragrance in it and i think that's what's breaking me out because when i use this so how i use this is you put water when you finish washing your face you just put a tiny dot of this so it has hyaluronic acid which absorbs and keeps the moisture in your face so this is really good at retaining that moisture, right? But I think because it has fragrance, it's kind of breaking me out a little bit. So I have a few breakouts here and I've never... This is the only thing that I've added into my routine that's new besides my face wash. So I think it's this one because face washes, they wash off. So you're not supposed to be worried about it, you know, actually like staying and penetrating through your skin for that long. So I think, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm still going to keep it. But I bought the, um, the extra dry one because it's fragrance free. You know, honestly, I don't really like this Spanish oil. It's a, I think it's supposed to be vitamin C oil. But honestly, when I use this, like right after washing my face and I use this, it breaks me out. And I'm, it breaks my heart because I really wanted to like this. But it just breaks me out that I can't like it, you know. And then for the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep this because it's so huge and this shit is not cheap, you know, this shit is not cheap. This is a, retin a retinol treatment. Actually, I think I have like halfway, half of the product left. So I'm just gonna keep this just in case. But I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'm just gonna keep all the banished stuff. I'm just gonna keep all the banished stuff in one bag because I'm too scared to try the micro needling to roll on your face. I'm too scared to try it. So yeah, Glam Glow Tingle Exfoliant Treatment is the best mask I've ever tried in my life. I think this one, you can see immediate results. So if you wanted to try this, get a small jar. But I feel like it's worth the money to get the big jar because 
you know your girl is like almost out already you see that I already hit the bottom but right now since um, I'm doing the different treatment I'm not really masking because I feel like it can make your face more sensitive so once I'm done with the different I think I'm gonna um, do it every other night and then just mask on the nights that I don't do it So guys, I just got back from picking up my sister from work. We went to AT&T, they couldn't do anything for us, so... But I don't know what else we're gonna do today. I think we might go to the movies, but I'll keep you updated. Hey friends, I'm up early because we're going to the gym today. So yeah, day one, here we go. the gym I'm freaking dead dead I have to go shower and then um, get ready for my nail appointment so I finished doing my makeup and um, they changed my appointment to um, two o'clock so I'm just gonna go at two because I need to get my nails filled in to look at this ratchetness ratchetness this this and this and um, I got a package so this is from I ordered this from Amazon. It's a zaps it like it's like a salicylic acid um face wash because Dr. Dre recommended it and because it's it kind of helps with um a post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation stuff. I'm not gonna use it until I finish the Neutrogena oil free face wash, the orange one. home i know i look a bit oily but we watched the greatest showman yeah, now i'm gonna go to sleep it's already it's almost one o'clock it's almost one o'clock and i have to go to the gym tomorrow so peace out It is currently 10.30. I just came back from the gym. We did body attack and body pump, which is weights and cardio. And I'm fucking dead because yesterday we did all cardio. Oh my god. I'm like so sore. Everywhere is sore. And then yesterday I didn't drink protein, but today I drank protein. So, I'm fucking dead. I have to do some brush cleaning, so I'm gonna do that. We went to MAC, Sephora, and Longs. So at Longs, I got a contour palette from NYX because it was 25% off. And then at Sephora, I got this Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer because I need another bronzer, I guess. So I got the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in um, Molten Molten Midnight, and it's the black one. Also went to Mac. I just needed some Fix Plus, so I got two because you know I'm gonna run out again. So I got two. One is actually the original, and one is the rose. 
so the rose is always nice to have because it smells good and then i got my order from mac today so i got the patrick star powder and i got a sample of the prep and prime um skin base and then when we also went to the store um the guy in there actually gave me some glitter samples so that's nice to have and then we also what the fuck, okay, went to Shirkia and I got these little stickers. It's like um the tabs. And I got cat stickers. Cat stickers and some other like decorations for my planner. And then I also got this tape. So when I do videos, it's mini mouse actually. So when I do videos, I can just use this tape for my wing. I fucking guess cookie, what the fuck? But yeah. But that's pretty much for today because I went to sleep from like 12 to 4 because I was so tired. I went to the gym so early and then another day tomorrow going to the gym. So that's pretty much it. It is 10.45, about 10.45, and I just came home from the gym. We did body combat and um, half of body pump and then CX works, with this, which is freaking killers because I suck at abs right now. But um, I'm really going light on weight still. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower, drink my protein. If you're curious of what protein I drink, it's the um, vegan one, the Vega. It's like the vanilla protein, the white tub. It's like the plant-based plant protein. So yeah. So I also went to Claire's and I needed some belly ring piercings, so I got that. And then they had like a, if you buy one, get one half off, you get a free gift. So I got this for my sister, I guess. Hey guys, so today has been really chill. I just woke up. I didn't just wake up but I didn't go to the gym today just because I needed a rest it's the fourth day of going to the gym so I decided my body is so sore that I need a rest I look so ghostly because I just put on the Vika day cream but I did gain like three new pimples like they're all in a line um, but that won't stop me from wearing makeup so you know how far my face has come I will make a video on um, my skincare update and my um recent skin breakout so yeah but pretty much i'm doing nothing all day picking up my sister later on at six because she went to work today and that's pretty much it so oh actually i'm gonna pick up audrey too from school at three so yeah that's pretty much it it is currently 7 23 a.m and I'm gonna head to the gym um, with Julie and then I'll come home. Hey guys, so day four back at the gym. I'm finished, so here I am with my protein shake once again. Um, today has been such a freaking hectic day already. It's only like um, 11. It's almost 12 a.m. 12 p.m. But there was an emergency alert saying that a freaking missile is heading to Hawaii. So me and Julie were going to the Mililani 24-hour um, fitness at, when that happened, right? And then when we got at the gym, they said that the gym was closed. So we kind of waited it out until we saw the instructor. And she pulled up and she didn't even go in. And the people were like saying that it was closed. So she left and then... I called the Pro City 24 hour fitness and they said it, they were open so I decided to go there so we decided to go there and then just did the um, boot camp Bye. we were supposed to do three different classes in the Mililani one but since we went to the Pro City one we just decided to do one class which was the boot camp one and then um, yeah that was pretty much it so 8 45 to 9 45 we did that and and then yeah I came home and it took a while because I parked at Julie's house and I came back or we went back to Julie's house and then I had to come here and she lives all the way in Waikele so that's pretty much how my morning went and apparently with the missile situation 
it was a freaking mistake or someone hacked into the system and um, sent out that alert at 8.08 a.m. So whoever fucking did that, you should be fired. Fired. It's not funny. You know, like I'm prepared, you know, I thought the gym was gonna let us in and hold us as shelter, but I guess fucking not, right? Like, I guess not, you know, like, they're like, fend for yourself, go, go find shelter on your own because we're not gonna have you here. And that was all the way Mililani, like, we didn't know anywhere else to go. So, yeah, and then I was trying to look it up on the news, no one knew what was happening, and the radios, only the radio stations knew what was happening. So, we had to listen to the radio and then... Yeah, and apparently it's been a false alarm, like, what the fuck? How can you get that fucking wrong? And on the message, it says, this is not a drill. Apparently, it's supposed to say, this is a drill, which is so dumb, because why would you fucking send that out? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to the people of Hawaii? Like, that's not fucking funny, you know? So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. And I drink my protein, and then I'm gonna go shower, and... Yeah, my sister went to work today, so I'm gonna go pick her up at 6. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Hopefully I can remember to bring out my camera and record because lately I've been slacking. And yeah, I have just one, this one pimple that, one pimple that survived. To the gym i don't know what we're doing today but i just know we're going to the gym today with julie and that's it i'll see you guys later hey friends i got back from the gym so today we did body pump and from 8 30 to 9 30 but i was there late because i underestimated my time arrival there so i left at 8 15 and i thought i was gonna get there by 8 30 but i got there at freaking 8 there was turbo after that but we didn't want to stay for turbo because it's too intense and i don't know you know same time zumba was going on but i actually like the teacher today kind of sucked like she was doing too much of her own choreography so i didn't like that yeah we didn't stay we just finished out our workout with doing the machines and we did the elliptical and then i stretched a little bit because i'm so freaking tight but yeah what you looking for cookie <laughs>
theaters and no one is here. Hey guys, so I just got home. It is 12 a.m. We watched Pitch Perfect. Like it's a really good movie. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll edit this and upload it on Monday.